The International Space Station's newest module is being delivered to Cape Canaveral today. This is your space pod for March 12, 2015. I am so excited for this. Not only is this the space station's newest habitable module, but it's also commercially built. What I'm talking about is Bigelow Aerospace's expandable activity module, and it's being delivered to Cape Canaveral today to be integrated for launch later on this year. It's going to be launched on a Falcon 9 rocket for SpaceX's Commercial Resupply Services No. 8, or CRS-8, and it's going to be stored in the unpressurized trunk of the Dragon capsule. Once CRS-8 has launched and the Dragon capsule has been berthed to the International Space Station, astronauts will use the station's robotic arm to install the beam module on the aft docking port of the Tranquility node. The plan is for the beam module to stay at the space station for two years, and during that time it would gather performance data about its structural integrity as well as leak rate, and also see how it responds to radiation and temperature changes while in space, compared to the aluminum modules that are already up there. Astronauts would periodically enter the module to gather data and perform inspections, and once this whole two-year test period is over, they're going to jettison the module and let it burn up in the atmosphere upon re-entry. However, Bigelow Aerospace is building a second module that will serve as an airlock on their commercial space station dubbed Skywalker. And something that's cool about this airlock is it will be able to serve three astronauts at a time, as opposed to only two astronauts at a time like the airlocks that are currently at the International Space Station. According to NASA's Flight Planning Integration Panel, the CRS-8 and BEAM module won't be launching any sooner than September 2nd of this year. And that date is probably subject to change, but it will be launching in 2015. Again, I am very excited for this, and I congratulate and wish all the luck to Bigelow Aerospace and all the people at NASA who have helped for this mission to become possible. Thank you for watching this space pod. My name is Michael Clark, and I would love to hear your comments about what you think about this whole mission and what it could mean for the future of human spaceflight. If you've missed any of our recent space pods, we've created a playlist which you can find on our channel's homepage at youtube.com slash tmro and while you're there please don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified anytime we release any new videos this is of course a crowdfunded show and every penny helps to be able to bring you content like this so if you're interested in helping us out please visit patreon.com slash tmro to find out more information about how you can help us bring you tomorrow's epic space content today Also, what do you guys think about the new lighting for my background? I'm still trying to mess with it a little bit, but let me know if I'm heading in the right direction. <laughs>